But first, runaway championship leaders' hearts were in demolition mode as they took on Cowdenbeath at Tynecastle. Paul Mitchell reports. Those expecting a home win at Tynecastle were not to be surprised that it was achieved, but they were to be astonished at the circumstances. The opening goal came from the penalty spot as Kenny Adamson handled Sam Nicholson's shot. Gennaro Zifuk tucked it away for the lead after 26 minutes. It was to be 2-0 for Hart shortly afterwards. Good play from Jamie Walker, finding Zifuk on the inside with a short pass. Zifuk turning Robertson to shoot low pass Robbie Thompson. Zifuk has scored in every game he's started for Hearts. Cowdenbeath were dazed, but that quickly gave way to desperation as they were left to fend for the final hour of the game with 10 men when Lewis Toshney pulled down Sam Nicholson in the box. There's a red card from Bobby Madden and a hat-trick opportunity for Gennaro Zifuk, and he wasn't to disappoint. Finishing well, a hat-trick in 3 minutes 35 seconds, sending statisticians delving deep into the record books. Sam Nicholson's first-half endeavours were rewarded with a goal of his own from 20 yards, showing no mercy with a terrific finish. As Cowdenbeath dreamed of the half-time whistle, Jamie Walker woke them up with a fifth goal. Nicholson again the provider, leaving the now black and blue Brazil well beaten with a full half to go. Hearts could have shut up shop after the break, but instead they looked like they wanted to open a supermarket. Morgado Gomez dancing in the box and taken down by Darren Brett. Morgado Gomez decided to take the penalty himself and he became the 20th Hearts player to score this season with a cheeky Paninka penalty. No mercy was shown on Cowdenbeath, who simply couldn't cope. Ali Morstark, who doesn't do tap-ins. Another great goal. With 29 minutes to play, Hearts were seven ahead. Not to be outdone, his defensive partner Danny Wilson decided to get on the ever-expanding score sheet. Cowdenbeath dithered. Danny Wilson didn't. 8-0 to Hearts. Osman Soh, who'd replaced Zifuk, wanted a goal or two of his own, and Hearts equaled their best goal scoring tally against the Fifers with lovely play from El Hasanui, playing it neatly through onto the Swede. And Hearts hit nine, much to the joy of the home support who simply couldn't believe what they were seeing. The record books were being given as much an examination as Cowdenbeath themselves. It became clear three minutes later when Osman So netted again to make it 10 0 that Hearts were on the verge of setting a record league winning margin and 16 minutes remained. Hearts look certain to be leaving the championship this season, worrying for Cowdenbeath, they may also do the same. Ten men's hard enough in a penalty kicks and, and then I thought, well, what can you do at half time? There's only thing you can do is to, you know, damage limitation and show a bit of character and, and but it uh, didn't happen for us the second half either. A difficult situation to be in when you're you have five or six goals down with ten men and difficult to change it. You know, we had a really good day today. Couldn't be for a difficult day and uh, yeah, it's a, a feel for them, but you know, it's a great three points for us. It was an incredible scoreline at Tyne Castle yesterday. Um, superb for Hearts. Embarrassing for Cowdenbeath, you'd have to say. And you feel a bit sorry for Jimmy Nicholl, don't you, Pat? But it, some cracking goals in that game. Sorry too. for Jimmy, sorry for the goalkeeper. Yeah. Uh, and yet, yeah, there were great goals. And I don't think the goalkeeper had m many chances uh, to save. He, he wasn't at fault for too many of them. There were some fantastic strike in this big guy, Seaford. Looks, looks like he's now getting his fitness together <laughs> when wow. he's scoring goals. <laughs> Uh, a hat trick, and that was a fantastic finish. Fantastic finish. Oh, it's wonderful, isn't it? Uh, Sam Nicholson's uh, finish there uh, from outside the box. But they're on fire, uh, Hearts, aren't they? And uh, they've caught, uh, they've caught Cowdenbeath on a bad day. They, they lose a man. They go down to ten men. Uh, well, it was a return to form, wasn't it, Willie? Because they'd been kind of scraping results, but th this was obviously massively emphatic, like they were earlier in the season. Yeah, yeah, and uh, obviously at home as well. They've got yeah. the big crowd. It's a big following. Um, you know, I think they're the team that are running away with the uh, oh, title. They, they, they could win it in four. They could win it what in four games? Yeah, four games. I think, Twenty points yeah. clear now of Hibs yesterday. Of course, they, it's a big statement from Hearts. It is after, Hibs, after the year they had last year, and and you know to go down and to bounce back so emphatically. Yeah. Uh, great season for them. Uh, Hibs in second place, strengthening their position in second place uh, as well. Scott Allen yesterday with the goal in the one 0 victory against Alloa Athletic, and well, Willie, would you say Hibs now? 
favourites to finish second in the championship? Well, I think they're favourites uh, because they've got the points in the bag. You know, Rangers uh, will still have a say in the matter, there's no doubt about that. They are games in hand, but they've got to win the games. You know, they've still got to get the points. And you wouldn't say that that would be definite, would you? No, so not the way they're playing, no. actually. Also. And, and Pat, would, you'd have to say... Rangers against Falkirk on Friday night. Finished one all. Rangers taking the lead through Darren McGregor. But this was two points dropped for Rangers, wasn't it? Yeah, you would expect a Rangers team when they go into the lead to, to maybe even, you know, score another couple of goals and, and go on and win the game. But then they, then they lose it. And, you know, I was listening on the radio and, and, and Falkirk actually looked as if they dominated possession in that first half. Rangers were at them a little bit more in the second half. Uh, but, uh, you know, you would expect you would expect Rangers to win this game. It is definitely two points dropped. And they can't afford to lose points. Absolutely. They've got to get a momentum going. Rory Loy with the equaliser for Falkirk. He's going to be at Dundee next season. But we heard, Willie, about David Summers leaving the Rangers yeah. board. <clears throat> Will that give Rangers a boost, you know, this time next week, the fact that they could have a new board in place, could that give Rangers something of a revival this well, season? They need direction. They need direction from the top. I think every club needs that. They need stability and direction. And they don't have that. And I think that does affect the players in the dressing room. I think it has affected, obviously, the management this season and the players. So if they can get it sorted out at the top, then I think that is a positive uh, step for them. But they've still got to sort out the playing side of things as well because they're not playing to the standard that you'd expect. No, but it's Rangers. all about leadership at the top of Rangers. You know, yeah. if they can get that, get that stability right yeah. uh, and get up this year, then, you know, going to next year is a completely different story. It's a big, big couple of months for them. A change in the managerial situation briefly, Willie, if, if the new board comes in at Rangers, could you see that happening? Well, I think that's part of the direction, isn't yeah. it? You, you need stability throughout the club and you need to know who the manager is going to be next season. Yeah. You still think Rangers will be in the Premiership next season, Pat? Well, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be very hard for them. They're not playing well, uh, and, and their confidence is down. There needs to be a completely change in the, in the whole thing there for that to happen. Uh, it's going to be a real, real battle for them. OK, Pat, Willie, thank you very much indeed. After all that, the Championship table looks like this. Hearts, 20 points clear at the top. Hibs in second place on 49. Four points clear of Rangers on 45. Queen of the South and Falkirk in a real tussle for a playoff place as well.